So in this clip, we'll do an example where we're looking at using differentials to estimate a relative error. And so relative error is when you're looking at um, the, the change in f relative to the value of f, and you're relating that to the uh, change in x relative to the given x value and the change in y relative to the given y value, um, etc. Right. So <clears throat> these, this is when your error is given in terms of uh, percentage. So let's see. So let's suppose, uh, so we've got that the uh, volume of a can, so we'll go back to a, a cylinder, is pi r squared h. And so if um, r is uh, measured with an uh, accuracy um, of within 2% and H is measured within an accuracy of 0.5% then we can uh, estimate the accuracy in the computed value uh, of V based on those inputs. Okay. So what's the actual volume versus what is it computed by um, after having measured radius and height? Okay, so we are given that the uh, accuracy for the radius, so that's the relative uh, value of the differential over the amount of radius, this is bounded by 2% and we have that the accuracy for the height so relative accuracy is bounded by 0.5% uh, which is 1 over 200 so this is uh, where I'm getting those numbers from okay and so now if we look at uh, dv over v, the idea is we, we want to express this in terms of dr over r and dh over h. So let's go ahead and compute dv over v. So yeah, this is the idea or strategy. So uh, let's see. So for dv, we're going to have the partial of v with respect to r times dr plus the partial with respect to h uh, times dh. And then v on the bottom is, let's see, pi r squared h. Okay, and so now I want to separate this apart into something having to do with dr over r and something having to do with the h over h. And so here's uh, the warning. In the end here, what we want to see is we want to see an inequality. That means if you fudge a little bit to make it bigger, as long as you don't throw in like some, some huge crazy thing, but you just do some, you know, add in a little bit of something to make it look like D over, dr over r and dh over h, then that's fine. You're, you're allowed to cheat and pad it a little bit. The, the, the important thing is you want to figure out um, just, just a bound for the error. 
Right. So it's it's not necessarily equality. And so so you'll see some of this in the uh, the homework problems especially. So for this one, let's see. For this one, I can just actually split it in, and uh, I think I can get what I want. So two pi r h dr over pi uh, whoops r squared h and pi r squared dh over pi r squared h. And so then I can do some cancellation here. So I've got h, h, and lose an r, and lose a pi. And I end up with um, 2 dr over r. And in the other one, I can cancel some pi's and some r squareds, and I just end up with dh over h. OK, so then my uh, bound for the relative error here is going to be um, 2 dr over r plus dh over h. And it's an important fact called the triangle inequality that if you have the absolute value of a sum, you can replace it with an inequality for the sum of the absolute values. By which I mean, if I'm willing to put an inequality here, I can split it. So this is called the triangle inequality. And it's very useful for, for making estimates. And then let's see. So then I can pull out the 2. And then I can look uh, for the actual values that were given. And so this was um, 2 over 100 and 1 over 200, um, which gives me 9 over uh, 9 over 200 rather, um, which is 0 0.045. So this tells me that the um, error in V is at most 4.5%. Okay, um, and so just as a tip for when you're working problems with uh, differentials, it's going to be the last step where you put in the actual values uh, that you're given. If you put in the numerical values for the accuracy tolerances uh, somewhere earlier on in the beginning, you're gonna have an expression that looks like a constant and then when you take a derivative, it's going to go to zero. And then, boom, just everything goes right out the window. So just always make sure to substitute in the given data at the very end.